What a rush! It's the Dice Dojo Tournament in August. Round 2. got a game against Fergus and his high elf army. And uh, this is the first time I've ever played Fergus. Um, he actually came with Grants. Grants was the guy I played uh, in Round 1 against his RKN. We got an Orcs and Goblins victory. So we're going to go ahead and see how my Orcs and Goblins fare against his high elves. Um, we're going to see what he has, what he brought to the table. Um, and then over here he brought two units of about like, I want to say like... 13 elf archers in one and the other one had like 15 or 18 a little bit more than the first one um, over here he has three units of Illyrian Reavers just to chaff it up and misdirect everybody and just be pain in the asses over here or, may or maybe just be war machine hunters I'm not entirely sure over here he has a huge unit and these guys are uh, proxied for um, Phoenix Guard so I think they kind of look cool with their little hoodies and everything like that um, and uh, they have the banner of armor piercing or whatever it is the razor banner that's what it's called um, over here he has a giant block of I want to say like 30 to 40 uh, white lions so that's gonna be four ranks of strength six hitting uh, hitting everybody which is pretty brutal actually uh, he does have um, this this color scheme was driving me nuts I'm like I feel like I know this color scheme so well and then it kind of clicked in my head the other day it's it's a uh, Johnny Alpha from 2080 uh, I think I don't I'm not sure exactly which comic he's in to be honest I just know that I had his hero click and I every time I play with the hero click that's exact color scheme that those guys are <laughs> but uh anyways uh they, they they're also very similar to the judges from judge dread comics that's also the color scheme but they're, they're uh, the judges are blue versus green but whatever um, over here these two dragons they're uh they're actually eagles so there's just some pretty brutal looking eagles um, and then over here he has uh, the BSB on the left side I don't think the BSB actually brought a like a magic banner or anything I think he just came like just BSB and like like uh, whatever wise you know uh, magic item wise and then on the right he has I want to say this one's his level 4 I confused him the whole game and he I think he, uh, he we'll figure it out but his level 4 had like Occam's Mind Razor and Miasma and all that so I think that's like Lore Shadow I believe I'm not entirely sure because I'm an Orcs and Goblins player all I know is Big Wah and Little Wah what the hell do I know of all these lores and then over here he has his level 2 which is a, a, a makeshift Teclis which is not Teclis his name is not Teclis um, and he has all the signature spells and he's only level two. Um, I believe he's the general, to be honest. We'll find out. But um, and then over here he has three uh, spear. See, I was gonna call them spear chuckers. And again, that's because I'm an orcs and goblins player. They're not spear chuckers. They're repeater cross throwers. Um, <laughs> he has three of them ready to just blast my guys. I don't have his magic spells here, but you'll figure them out soon. Like I said, he has one that's a lore master that has all the signature spells, and the other one has a level four shadow. Um, over here I got uh, my level 2 I'm going to show you my spells before I show you my army I got a level 2 that got um, Undead he has Grave Call and the Harbinger and I also have a level 1 that has Grave Call as well I have a level 4 with the Big Wog and look at these ugly fucking numbers oh my god this pissed me off so bad <laughs> oh my god I did not get a foot or a hand I got 1, 2, 4, 5 which is Headbutt here we go Brain Busta and then the other one would have been Fist of Gork, but I changed it to Gaze of Mork because I, I think Fist of Gork is such a piece of shit. And again, um, Gaze of Mork is actually, uh, I'm just looking for ways to nuke versus anything because I can't do anything else with my level 4. Um, I mean, I could throw him in a unit and give everybody like hatred, but that's about it. But uh, yeah, whatever. I brought a small unit of about like, I think like 11 to 12 um, Orc Biggins. And then uh, additional hand weapons. I brought my savages. I got 24 strong savages with um, the lucky shrunken head in that group. So they have a 5 up board. I have a unit of 6 trolls. And then I have my Arachnorok spider. My big and trusty guy. And uh, I have 2 doom divers. I have Lord chicken head. Chicken head has the armor of destiny, um, sword of might, and dragon bane gem. Um, over here I have my level 4 who failed me didn't get the fucking foot uh, this is Kabuto the Python and then over here I have my block of spider riders my spider riders have Gorbat on the left side and Roughneck on the right side Roughneck has a uh, crown of command to make that unit stubborn as well as the dragon helmet to give him uh, additional armor save um, over here I have uh, I actually won first turn we did 
do vanguards, and for some reason I took a lot less pictures in this game than all the other games for whatever fucking reason. I don't know. But, um, so basically I did my vanguards. I'm going to go ahead and move up. I kind of fan out everybody. Um, oh, in this, in this objective uh, for this tournament specifically, it's uh, King of the Hill. So basically we have to get uh, banners on the hill and we also have to get our generals on the hill by the end of the game and make sure that no enemy units are on the hill so you get objective points for each one and uh, that's more or less why I'm just going straight for the hill I'm gonna ch just try to go there and take over and take it from the center from the beginning and top it off uh, thinking about my previous strategy in the last game against Grant which was if I could outshoot him do it but in all fairness he has three repeater cross bolt throwers and he has two units of archers he's gonna outshoot me big time um, so I'm trying to bum rush him I'm trying to just run up the gut and just go for him um, I took uh, I took chicken head I mean you could barely see it in this picture here with the Ragnarok but um, I took chicken head on the vanguard on the right flank and he just flew up to the side and then I took my orc shaman and he's running up the right flank too because I figure he could just kind of like I don't know maybe gaze things over on that side or, or he could get close enough to his wizard to uh, to headbutt him so we'll see what happens Gorbat's still in the unit but he's just a big heavy model he just keeps falling over on the trays especially on this table um, and then as you can see chicken head ran literally an inch away from that freaking bolt thrower um, he's he doesn't care he's chicken head man he could probably live, live that bolt thrower um, and like I said this guy just ran up here to start doing magic magic phase I got nine power dice and uh, <clears throat> what I do is I first thing I do is I threw a couple dice onto grave call because my level two is probably my better character to uh, throw up stuff so he threw up a unit of cryptors now this picture is a little bit ahead because I didn't have any pictures of the cryptors because again I don't know why I didn't take any pictures um, but uh, I threw up a unit of cryptors I got three of them I threw them up 12 inches up and he, they're basically gonna go towards the war machines at the moment um, and then uh, I believe that was it I really couldn't do much else um, so we're gonna go into shooting phase shooting phase my first doom diver blew itself up on the first fucking turn are you fucking kidding me ah man bad start for the orcs and goblins second doom diver is gonna go ahead and shoot at the archers and I tend to do this against Dan because the less people I have shooting at me the better uh, but I go ahead and top it off the Phoenix Guard have freaking ward saves and I don't want to hate dealing with ward saves I hate you know I, I want to thin numbers before I have to deal with freaking ward saves um, so the Doom Diver hits connects kills off four guys um, I should have went for the white lines what I should have done um, and then uh, over here I have my spider riders spider riders are shooting at some Illyrian Reavers coming up the front and they end up killing off one guy and I believe that's it that's all I got for my turn high elves turn one he sees this opportunity to charge into my level four with his Illyrian Reaver so he's gonna do that and they connect in and my level four is just like whatever <laughs> I'm toughness five you little punks um, freaking strength three elves <laughs> you could be fast all you want his other Illyrian Reavers come up to the side flank over here towards uh, my level 2. He realized my level 2 was inside the unit. And the reason my level 2 was not inside the unit is because I really didn't want him to fail animosity and uh, not be able to cast. So he's going to take advantage of that. I was figuring I could still get my um, my lookouts are outside the unit, but it's a harder lookout, sir. Um, and then his other Illyrian Reavers come up to the side flank over here. Magic Face, he got 5 power dice. And I believe I just I stuff him down. He tries to do a firebolt, and I looked at him, and I was like, I'm just going to dispel scroll it. And he's like, really? You're going to use your dispel scroll so soon? And I was like, yeah, because my level 2 might die right now, and he has the dispel scroll. So, so I just stopped the firebolt. He was going to shoot my trolls, and uh, that didn't happen. Um, and then uh, over here, my uh, he decides to do his shooting phase. The, the repeater bolt thrower shoots right into the face of Chicken Head. And chicken head literally he I mean I have a I think he did the multi shot because I know he didn't do the other one he did the multi shot he got a bunch of shots off I failed not only two armor saves I failed two ward saves and chicken head took two wounds and I'm like shit chicken heads almost dead already well guess what he did a, a combat reform on his archers turned him around and shot him now these guys are only strength three so I got a three up armor which is pretty big I mean it's pretty hard to mess mess up a three up armor I failed the three up armor I was like oh well I got a four up ward BAM he killed me one fucking shot 
one shot got through and killed chicken head that's some bullshit man oh that that that's like taking out the heart of my army in the first turn oh man that hurts <laughs> His other guys over here, they're taking long shots all the way across the board against my spider riders. They end up killing off three spider riders. And uh, his freaking reavers shoot, all shoot at um, at my uh, level two. And they just shot the crap out of him. I do the, the lookout series and he fails two. And he gets two wounds off of it. And that's it. He's dead. Um, one group uh, ended up shooting, I believe, my regular guys. And they end up killing off one. And then... Uh, both the repeater bolt throwers here they end up shooting at Gorbad's unit they kill off four guys and then um, I believe that's it I think that's all his shots I think he tried to do one big shot into my Ragnarok but it didn't do shit um, over here his close combat he's gonna go ahead and attack my uh, Savage Orc Shaman and he fails to wound at all so um, he did charge he does have a side flank um, I basically stick there I am in Gorbad's leadership bubble so Gorbad basically uh, keeps him alive with like I think like an 8 you know and then I did a combat reform turns around it's gonna start off orcs and goblins turn 2 orcs and goblins turn 2 nobody failed the animosity I moved the trolls up even further up um, I moved the Ragnarok up to the side flank and uh, basically everybody else is standing on to the I didn't move Gorbad further I was kind of worried about that because if I move Gorbad up further I'm just gonna get charged by those fucking Phoenix guard and I'm not ready to charge them yet uh, savages same thing trolls don't care so much and as you can see uh, my orcs on the left side just actually decided to ignore the Illyrian Reavers and they just keep going towards those war machines so did the Cryptors Cryptors are only moving at like a six inch range each time though because they have a uh, no leadership bubble no general bubble so um, yeah that sucks Magic phase, I got a shitty three power dice. Um, I decided to use my level one and summon up some some uh, skeletons and throw them up right in front of the units here, so that way it causes uh, misdirects and it causes uh, issues. And he decides, whatever, I could probably just shoot at him. Shoot my doom diver. I'm trying to take out some spear chuckas. Again, spear chuckas, bolt throwers. And I actually think I was aiming for the Phoenix Guard on this one, and it just drifted off so far. And I was just like, ah, fuck it, I'll hit the war machine. So I hit the war machine. Does no damage. Um, as for this fight over here, he decides to attack. He gets all his attacks in first. Does absolutely zero wounds to my shaman. My shaman just like headbutts one bah! and killed him. <laughs> and uh, he sticks. Um, he doesn't have a banner in that group, but he does stick on his leadership. He's going to go ahead into High Elves turn two. High Elves turn two. He's charging his Phoenix Guard into my trolls. He's charging his... his I'm sorry. His White Lions into the trolls. His Phoenix Guard into Gorbad's unit. And this is going to hurt. Okay, I'm not too worried about the Phoenix Guard at the moment. I do have Gorbat and Roughneck in that unit, and plus, if they stick around a turn, which it's very, very possible, I could kind of get a side flank with my Savages. All right, so he charges in here, gets in. He charges in uh, here. I do a stand and shoot. I kill off one guy, which haha, <laughs> sucker. Um, and then his Reavers move up really close to my Doom Diver. His other Reavers move like this so they could block my um, Cryptors and make me waste a, a move charging if I charge them I'm gonna have to wheel and turn and face them kind of a deal and turn myself kind of in an angle which doesn't line up with his doom divers that's exactly what he wants and then he moves his eagle right here to, to basically frenzy bait my savages because my savages can't get that side flank onto the phoenix guard um, magic phase he gets 8 power dice and this is I'm, I'm, I'm just saying it right now. This is the magic phase of fuck you magic phases. Fuck you, James. First thing he does is Ice Shard Blizzard, which lowers the leadership and, I think, like, weapon skill on these guys. And I have to let it go. Or, actually, I think I tried to stop it, and I, it failed by, like, two. And I'm like, shit, come on, are you kidding me? So he gets it off. Their leadership is slightly lower. Um, and then he does mystifying miasma on these guys and I I'm like fuck I try to stop that one didn't go off those guys are fucked I'm just gonna have to puke basically cuz I can't hit for shit then this is the one that I was just I, I, I should have saw it coming I didn't see it coming he did Occam's mind razor on the unit of Phoenix guard so everybody who knows Gorbad knows that he doesn't have a ward save and now these guys are strength like nine or some shit <sighs> that's brutal over here uh, his 
Illyria and Reavers are taking shots at um, my Doom Driver. They ended up putting on one wound, which, okay, that happens. Um, and then his archers over here are going to go ahead and shoot at my skeletons. They kill off three skeletons. And then his Illyrian Reavers here are shooting at uh, my orcs. They get uh, one orc. And then over here, his his white lions, they're going to go ahead and start the close combat phase. They go ahead and they attack. They do one wound onto my trolls. Then I think actually that's his BSB who did the one wound. Yeah, it was his BSB did one wound. And then basically the rest of the white lions go and they end up killing off two trolls and doing an extra wound. My trolls are, I believe, going to puke back. Yeah, they puke back and they end up killing off pukes and stomps. They end up killing off like seven guys. Okay. So I believe I'm still losing combat resolution. They're down by one. I failed. I failed twice. Okay. They charged. They got two ranks. They got a BSB. And then they did like seven wounds or something like that. Or eight wounds and then I did seven wounds back so I'm losing by like four or five and then I have Gorbad's leadership and then to top it off I rolled a four or I think I rolled a five and he's like oh you're still minus one because the ice shard blizzard I'm like fuck so I failed I failed I failed I failed I re-rolled I still failed they're gonna run um, he's definitely gonna chase <clears throat> and I get away actually they live um, and he's chasing me towards that forest we find out the, f the forest right there is a blood forest so that's pretty interesting. Um, over here is uh, Gorbad has always strikes first. He's going to go ahead and attack. I attack his level 4 who just called up Occam's Mind Razor. I was like, fuck that guy. I was like, you know what? Gorbad's going to die. He's going to take somebody with him. And that guy had, I think, like a very shitty ward save compared to everybody else's 4 up ward save. Hit him. Kill him. Just like, I destroy the fuck out of him. Uh, if I would have challenged him, I, he would have ran that wizard into the back, I believe. So, because I don't think he had any other characters really. So his, uh, his uh, wizard goes ahead and attacks because he always strikes first too. He ends up killing Gorbad. It's just, yeah, that happens. Then the rest of his group goes and they decide to pick off the rest of the spider riders. They kill off every single spider rider. Roughneck's the only one left. Roughneck kills one guy. Roughneck is stubborn on a leadership eight and he sticks. I'm sorry, Roughneck killed three guys. Good job, Roughneck. But, uh, yeah, that, that unit just got annihilated which is like the center of my army right now to be honest and that really sucks that really hurts um orcs and goblins turn three um i'm gonna go ahead and charge with my orcs here into those illyrian reavers and then i just sidestep the the cryptors over to get away from the illyrian reavers i charge the skeletons into the, the archers here and magic phase i got four power dice um i do i believe I try to call it more units, he dispels me, which, whatever, that happens. I'm a level 1 now versus a level 2, and then I have my level 4 still, but he's stuck in combat with those guys. I forgot to mention, I don't think anything happened in this turn against those guys. Um, anyway, so I try to shoot at the White Lions, and my Doom Diver is like, no, we don't. He just kind of ran off and did nothing. Um, I should have shot that Eagle is what I should have done. Um, and close combat, as you can see, my... Orc Shaman's still beating the crap out of these guys over here. <laughs> he still killed one more. I believe they failed their, their panic check. Oh, yeah, they did. They failed their panic check. They're running through the building. He chases. Actually, I don't even think I chased. I think I just let him run. Um, close combat over here. His Phoenix Guard, which still has Occam's Mind Razor, just kicks Roughneck's ass with his one-up armor save. And then uh, the savages had to charge the eagle, and they just killed the eagle. But they're going to overrun, and they're going to leave themselves pretty much exposed. The phoenix guard, after they killed uh, Roughneck, they turn facing exactly where the savages are going to go through. So that sucks. Um, and then my skeletons here killed off two guys, but they're going to crumble and die um, just from crumbling, basically. Um, over here, these orcs just destroyed the Illyrian Reavers. I think they lost like two or three orcs through two of them, though. But whatever. And uh, that's the end of my turn. We're going to go to High Elves, turn three. Here it goes. He's going to side flank my savages with his fucking Phoenix Guard. That sucks. I already saw this uh, happening. I really should have had the savages go against the Phoenix Guard from the beginning or the savages go against the, the White Lions from the beginning. And it just didn't happen this way. In all honesty, I probably should have had the trolls in the Phoenix Guard because it doesn't matter. Their strength wasn't really that high and they have that armor piercing shit. And to top it off, 
I have a good regen. So they would have been a bet much better matchup against them, um, which is good because this is the first time I've ever fought Phoenix Guard. So now that now I know whenever I fight Phoenix Guard, that's what I should do. I should make sure that Gorbat does not get into combat against them because they have that ward save and that sucks. Um, and the trolls just get so many more attacks and the savages get so many more attacks and whatever. But um, yeah, this is uh, this is bad planning by me. Um, he's going to charge the Lyrian Reavers into my Doom Diver, and he connects there. He's continuing to ch chase my trolls. Now, my trolls tried to rally on the last turn, and again, I rolled like a 5 or a 4. I rolled a 4, and I was like, yes, I got it! I got their leadership! Holy shit, they're going to rally without Gorbad. And he's like, oh, you still have I Shard Blizzard on. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> so I kept on running. <laughs> and his White Lions are chasing, and my trolls continue to run, and they get away. Um, he connects here, of course. Magic phase, he gets seven power dice, and uh, I forgot what spell he cast, but the blood force came alive and killed one of his guys. <laughs> oh, so the blood forest, you cast the magic spell in or out of that forest, and uh, basically it it comes alive. It doesn't like the fact that you're casting magic. It, it does a d6, so he got a one, and it kills one guy. Then it gets 2d6 and it moves off in a random direction. Well, guess what? It moved further into his unit. <laughs> so he's like, fuck, I can't do my magic. So he tries to do another magic spell. And uh, he's like, oh, well, fuck it. I'll just take it in the chin. And it moves even further into his unit and he kills off one more guy again. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, man. So his guys are just stuck in that forest right now, which is funny as hell to me. Uh, he does get wild form off on these guys. The other spell, I stopped it, though. Um, but, uh, yeah, this gives him, I think, like, one more toughness or one more strength or some shit. Or one strength and one toughness. Over here, his archers just shoot at my Arachnarok. He does one wound. His uh, other archers, or all his archers, his spear chucker and everything else. Spear chucker. His <laughs> repeater crossbow thrower shoot at uh, the Arachnarok. And he gets it. Goes hits him but only does one wound I was like whoo so Ragnarok's still alive he only has two wounds um these guys just destroyed my doom diver so I'm out of shooting now and uh his phoenix guard man oh man he did six wounds to me I do have the lucky shrunken hand in there which saved my life a little bit and I do four wounds back so it wouldn't been that bad if I was facing forward on him I think I would have done more obviously I would have done more damage to him but um since he does got that side flank he is gonna win combat <sighs> they're gonna panic they're gonna run and they run this way and my guys are like you know what fuck it we can stop them they can't chase us if we throw our banner at them so we threw the banner there bam they stop one inch short and my banner's dead <laughs> oh man this is not going the, this is not going well for the green skins or the red skins orcs and goblins turn four man I'm gonna make some long charges here I'm gonna charge the cryptors into the spear chuckas Bolt throwers. <laughs> I charge the orc uh, biggins into the other bolt thrower. Magic phase. I finally get a big magic phase. I'm finally getting a 12. All right. Uh, for the record, the crypt horror got in. The orcs failed. I move my level four into the side flank of the white lions because they're in horde formation, which makes them 10 wide, and they're in the blood forest. So I roll, I get 12. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm doing this Gaze of Mork with three dice. I just need a 10 plus. Look at this. I got triple sixes. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. I was dying at this part. I was like, I was just laughing. I was like, I was laughing so hard. I think I started crying. But um, I'm going to do this Gaze of Mork. I got 10 wide. Bam! Blast the shit out of all 10 of them. Right? I think like two of them lived because I rolled a one but I got like eight or so and then to top it off it's in the blood force so the blood force kills him I was like holy shit my fucking orc shaman's like fucking cyclops right now he's blasting shit out of him now I did roll miscast the miscast look at this I get double ones oh shit <laughs> I roll to see what happens I got sucked into the void <laughs> oh man what the fuck? <laughs> that really sucked. <laughs> that Gaze of Gork was awesome, though. Uh, or great Gaze of Mork, I'm sorry. It was awesome, though. I've never done a Gaze of Mork that killed that many guys. 
and uh, I, I, I have a newfound respect for this spell. I, I've always kind of liked it, but I just have a newfound respect for it. <laughs> As for close combat, <laughs> these uh, Cryptors just kill the shit out of this fucking bolt thrower. Um, and then um, I did have the Arachnorok charge into these archers. The archers end up putting on two two wounds onto the Arachnorok. The Arachnorok ends up killing off like only two guys. I thunderstop and I only kill one more. I'm like, what the hell? So he has a rank of banner. I only kill three. I did charge. He passes his leadership check and he's gonna sit there around and he was like, fuck, because he was hoping to have me out of combat and off the table by this turn or come back in combat and then I'm uh or or stick there and I'm there just to get shot at by his bolt throwers. But me being in combat kind of like kind of messed up his plans. Um, High Elves, turn four. He's charging my uh, trolls with his Eagle. He's charging my trolls with his Illyrian Reavers. That way, I run away from one and I run again for the second one, and they're probably going to run off the table. He's charging, and as you can see, the Blood Force decided to move in front of the, the Phoenix Guard here. He's charging my, my Savages here with his Phoenix Guard. They continue to run. Um, and then, my like I said, my trolls get off the table. And uh, my savages get away from the Phoenix card pretty pretty good. Um, I got <laughs> I got twelves on the on the fleeing, so that's awesome. And uh, he got an eight, so yeah. Or I'm sorry, the eight's actually his uh, magic phase. Magic phase. He goes ahead and tries to do spirit leech. Um, he gets it off, and uh, I believe he ends up he only puts one wound onto my shaman with that spirit leech. So um, he's just trying to headhunt my spirit my shaman. He goes for a uh, fireball, he gets double sixes, and uh, he's going to shoot my Cryptors, and he ends up killing off one Cryptor and doing a wound to the other one. And uh, he ended up reforming his Phoenix Guard over here, not his Phoenix Guard, his White Lions over here, um, just to be smaller units in ranks. And they're facing down the side flanks now. Um, Orcs and Goblins, turn five. He, uh, these guys fail animosity. <laughs> I mean, anything that can happen wrong in this game has pretty much happened wrong this game. <laughs> uh, so I fail the animosity, uh, and they end up squabbling, and they can't do shit about it. Um, and then uh, I go ahead and I charge in with uh, my trolls here into their, his other bolt thrower. Uh, my savages, I believe, do rally. Um, I get a magic physic at 11 power dice again. I'm getting huge power dice. I end up throwing a shit ton of dice onto Grave Call to grab up some... Uh, Vargas, they get double sixes, so they're going to come on up. I got three Vargas popping up on the table. And like I said, these guys rallied. I believe the double sixes ended up killing my Shaman. So I don't have Lucky Shrunk in head anymore. Um, and then close combat, my Cryptors decided to just destroy that freaking Bolt Thrower. Um, over here, my Arachnorok this time wasn't playing around. He ended up killing off pretty much like five guys. He Thunder Stomps like four or five more. And he only leaves two on the table, and those two are definitely going to panic. Um, and they run off the table, and he ends up chasing them off the table. Um, and uh, so it's going to start High Elves turn five. I am off the table, so he doesn't have, he doesn't have anybody to shoot right now. Um, I try to move my Vargai. I don't know why I moved my Vargai here. I should have done his move, which was like redirect his guys. Um, but uh, he really, I, 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 I don't know. I my thought process is always like a step behind for some reason on shit like this but I was hoping to get maybe a side flank or something like that um, onto the I was looking at this unit over here of the, the white lions and in all honesty I was thinking if I get a front charge he's gonna kill my Vargas before they get to attack if I get a side flank I'll be able to kill a couple more because that's that unit's more dead and I could possibly get some points out of it I could probably salvage some points out of this but he's going to go ahead and charge into my orcs. And he's going to also charge into my savages with his phoenix card. Um, and my orcs decide they're going to flee. So he fails charges with his uh, white lions. And then his phoenix card, I believe they connect. Yep, they do connect. And that's going to suck. Magic phase gets eight power dice. He goes, going to go ahead and throw up, a, I think, another spirit leech or something like that. He throws up a shit ton of buffs. And at this point, I'm just like, yeah, that, that unit's fucked up anyways. I'm not. There, there's no stopping it. Oh, he does redirect with his white lions into my savages too so they they go in first and they end up going on to this side and then the phoenix guard will go on that side but that's exactly how he did it um and then um he ends up getting wild form back onto these guys here he ends up putting a hex on the ice shard blizzard onto my savages and uh close combat yeah it just looks like this it just looks like dead bodies on my side i don't think i killed anybody of his because my weapon skill was so low 
and uh, he did put regen onto his um, white lions too, Earthblood. So yeah, so I'm pretty much kind of like, ugh. Um, I end up killing off one white lion, I believe, and that was it. I'm going to go ahead and panic and flee, obviously. I need double ones, and I'm not going to get double ones. So they run, and they run through my own orcs, and they're going to have to take dangerous terrains. And I believe I actually lose a couple because of dangerous terrain. It's going to start off orcs and goblins turn six. Orcs and goblins turn six. I decide to charge the crypt horrors into the side flank. I should charge them possibly into the rear of the fucking phoenix guard, or the white lions. I don't know why I keep on convincing. Cool. Whatever confusing the names but I think I just did it so that way he couldn't charge me more or less um, and they connect in um, I rallied the freaking the savages I don't rally the the orc boys the orc boys continue to run I move my vargeist right here just to the to chaff up his uh, white lions uh, shooting phase I go ahead and my arachnoid comes back on the board and he shoots at the eagle I'm trying to figure out like how I could get any points he I end up only doing one wound to the eagle. Um, and then close combat, my Cryptors only kill off one Phoenix Guard. They kill off the Cryptor. I'm going to crumble and die. It's going to start off his turn, turn six. He just gets magic spells. He buffs up, buffs up, buffs up. Um, he does Shem's Burning Gaze onto my Orcs. He ends up killing three of my Savages. And only two are left. Those two are going to panic and run. They run through the unit of Orcs that are already running. And he's like, you got to take dangerous terrain. So I do, and I roll double ones. And I'm like, fuck! One guy dies. The other one rolls on his ward save, and he gets a six. And he lives. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I thought I had it. He's like, I thought I got that unit up down to the last man. I was like, oh, man, that was so close. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty much the end of the game. It was a slaughter. Orcs got their asses kicked. Um, there's a lot of things I was thinking about I should have done. Um, one, not having the foot really hurt because I could have probably took out that unit of white lions before they even got into combat or I could have took out the, the fucking archers, all the archers and had my uh, Arachnoroc probably helping out on the, the Phoenix Guard or ha helping out against the white lions. Um, but uh, but that really hurt. Uh, my The fact that he head hunted my level 2 and since my level 4 didn't have the foot, my level 2 was probably my bigger, better priority to keep alive. And I didn't have a chance to leave him alive, keep him alive just because of what happened. Um, so that kind of sucked. Uh, my savages not being in combat really hurt me uh, because they didn't have a combat early on to thin out the numbers. They, they had a front charge on. And that was the thing, too. Is I, I was really afraid of his, his redirecting and all his shit that he was doing. If I would have uh, thought it out better, I would have had the savages run into the Phoenix Guard or run into the White Lions from the beginning. Um, but uh, I just, again... I was kind of worried about getting shot at and misdirected and shot at and misdirected. And that's kind of what ended up happening anyways. So, um, and then uh, Chicken Head taking an early death, that really hurt me because that ended up turning my Arachnoroc into a War Machine Hunter, which I probably should have just had the Arachnoroc on the hordes from the beginning. Um, my MVP is going to go to my level 4, and honestly... I'm giving it to my level 4 for the amusement factor. Kabuto, you kicked the shit out of some fucking Illyrian Reavers hand-to-hand -hand combat, and then he fucking Cyclops blasted the hell out of some White Lions. <laughs> oh, man, that would, that made my day. I was just dying from crying and laughing, and, and that, would, that just made my day because he just blasted the shit out of some guys, and then he had the Blood Force attack him, too. Oh man, so Kabuto, you got my MVP award. Um, it was a very bad game for me, and um, but it was fun. Again, it's a different army that I'm not used to playing. Um, I've never played Phoenix against Phoenix Guard, so that was that was a surprise for me. And uh, I would definitely play Fergus again. Um, we're gonna play him at uh, at the Midwest uh, Club Challenge on Saturday. And hopefully uh, we get uh, a match against him. And I'm not going against him. I'm actually trying to pit him against my brother. Because um, my brother didn't get a chance to fight him at the tournament on the Dice Dojo tournament. So we'll see how that goes. Um, anyways, guys. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and advance to round three against Dan. I'm fighting for third place now. Um, and uh, we'll see how round three goes. 
Alright guys, if you enjoyed this, hit the like and subscribe. I'm back down to 299 subscribers. I need one more subscriber to push me over 300. So subscribe guys if you haven't already, do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Please leave some comments and feedback. I always appreciate it. I'm sorry for the sirens. Again, I'm by a hospital. But yeah, leave some, leave some feedback and I'll be glad to see what you guys have to think about this game. Alright, take care and until next, guy, next time guys. Peace.